Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to take the Goodreads tag. So I've got a little screencast and everything, so we can see what we're talking about. Because basically, this is a list of different questions about your Goodreads account, and, yeah, and so I've got to go in and look at what I recently shelved and all of this stuff. This tag was created by Spiral Bookmark, although they've since deleted it. I think they're um, no longer active, unfortunately. But the link to their channel is below anyway, and I'm going to tag a few people at the end, so stick around to uh, see that as well. Right, let's get going. Let's ask some questions. Question one. What was the last book you marked as read? Okay, I guess to get to this, I view my profile. There we go. The last one I've rated here was The Laura's by Sarah Taylor. So let me go and get that. So this is one of the books I was sent for the Young Writer of the Year Award shadow panel that I'm doing. There are videos about that scattered around, a review coming soon. Basically, I really liked it. It's kind of like a road trip novel. Um, there's lots of different themes in there. It's almost like a feminist book, I would say. Um, there's, um, but it deals with sort of sexual, uh, well, not sexual identity, gender identity. Yeah, I really like this, actually. I think this is probably my favorite of the five that I was sent for that, so. Question two, what are you currently reading? Well, you see, if we go into my Goodreads, on my Goodreads currently reading list, I have 147 books, which is my entire um, TBR shelf. So we've got up here, this is a free one I got there, so, uh, Simon the Genius in my basement, Crime and Punishment. This makes me look like a Nazi because Mein Kampf came up. Let's edit that bit out. I've not got that anymore anyway, I decided against it. As you can see, a lot of this is out of date. But anyway, what I am currently reading is Outlandish Night, The Byzantine Life of Stephen Runciman, which is a big old biography of a chap called C uh, Stephen Runciman, who, he, he was an author himself actually, but he was also an historian. And basically, this is one of the books, the last of the books that I got sent for the Young Writers Award, and I need to have it finished by next Friday. So um, I'm just finishing it off, but I'm almost there. Very interesting. It's not the kind of book I'd usually pick up, and I honestly, I don't, I don't know who I would recommend it to. I, if you're a general reader, don't read this. There are, when you, when it's non-fiction November, there are lots of other non-fiction books I feel like I would recommend uh, ahead of this. Even though it is very well written, and you know, it's an interesting book in its own right. Question number three: What was the last book you marked as TBR? Let's have a look. Oh, what a surprise! That is actually a booktubey book, and it is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, which everyone else has kind of already read, and I will probably just pick up from a charity shop when I see it. Question number four. What book do you plan to read next? Now, I don't need to use Goodreads to show you this. It's this, which is uh, From a Buick 8 by Stephen King, and um, I started this, and I was about this far in when the uh, Young Writer of the Year books arrived and I knew I had to read those in time so those, I've just been reading those ever since but then I'm going to finish off this book which is alright so far but it's definitely not his best and it suffers from you know Stephen King syndrome where it's just long for no real reason. Question number five, do you use the star rating system? Now the answer to this is yes I do use the star rating system. Okay so my average rating is 4.12 and I'm also, by the way, I am in the top reviewers. I am in the <laughs> 90 top number number 93 in the United Kingdom's all-time top reviewers on Goodreads. So that's an achievement. Question number six: Are you doing a 2014 reading challenge? I, I'm not doing a 2014 reading challenge. I am doing a 2017 reading challenge, which I've already met. Yeah, congrats! You have read 218 books of your goal of 200. So I'm doing all right, I think. Question number seven, do you have a wish list? I do have a wish list and my, uh, it's this list that I was just on, my to read list, which has got 2,075 books on it. So basically what I do, instead of having my to read list as my to be read shelves, I set those as currently reading and then my to read list is stuff that I want to read. There we go. Question number eight, what book do you plan to buy next? This would probably be La Belle Sauvage by Philip Pullman, which is the first book in the new uh, series that's kind of an accompanying series to the uh, His Dark Materials trilogy, which is my favourite trilogy ever. And everyone else has already read this book, and I haven't bought it yet because I've not got around to it. Early Christmas present, maybe. Question number nine. Do you have any favourite quotes? Would you like to share a few? I do have some favourite quotes, I mean, most of them are Charles Bukowski quotes, like, uh, even like names of his books are amazing, like, love is a dog from hell, I think is a great quote. Um, 
We are all going to die. What a circus. What, what have I marked some as? My quotes. Mark Twain, classic. A book which people praise and don't read. There's a nice one from Coraline. Fairy tales are more than true. Not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. Okay, question number 10. Who are your favourite authors? There's a whole bunch of them, but we'll go sort of Stephen King, Graham Greene, Terry Pratchett. Ernest Hemingway, Charles Bukowski, Philip Pullman, J.K. Rowling, um, lots of indie writers as well, They're just everyone really. Uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and Agatha Christie, obviously, just how long have we got? Question number 11, have you joined any groups? I have joined some groups, but they've been like groups specifically for a purpose mostly, so the librarians group to get them uh, to ask for some help with my book listings and that sort of thing. Although I have recently joined Top 5 Wednesday, no, yeah, Top 5 Wednesdays and Tuesday Talks as well. So I might be doing some of those soon, although none of the November topics grab my attention, so maybe December. Okay, well anyway, that's that tag. I'm not sure, I was expecting to need to get more books for that, but most of them were about books that I wanted to buy. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to tag three people to take this. I'm going to tag Catalyst Reads, Graham Quigley, and Hannah Tay. Because I don't think any of you three have done it, so please do it so I can watch your answers. And in the meantime, feel free to hit a like, a comment and whatnot, and I will see you soon. Bye. Better turn the camera off because the battery's...